another mastermind hit. Mastermind here of Ohio Cannabis Live, broadcasting live, recording live from Detroit, Michigan for the 2022 Michigan High Times Patient Choice Cannabis Cup, round five. This is going to be a long haul. We still got 24 more rounds to go. So make sure you follow me on social media, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, follow me on everywhere on earth. Yes, it is time for us to go ahead and get into today's pick. So today we're going to be talking about and judging something called cloud cover. Cloud cover. So the name of the strain is Dirty Dozen. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. The Dirty Dozen. That's right. The Dirty Dirty Dozen. Already know we get ready to get right into this. And we, we will be uh, using this one. We will be medicating today. So yeah, we're gonna get into it again. You know how I feel about bags. I'm not a big fan of bags. You know, bags just kind of annoy me a little bit. Um, so you know, some people like bags though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, the graphic work on the bags is cool. But that's it. I mean, other than that, it just ain't on it. It's not. I'm trying to get my playlist on my hair, man. Let's see. We're going to mellow out a little bit. It's cloud cover. Ladies All right, and so. Put your hands together for uh, Master Mike. This is the Dirty Dozen cloud cover. It's 24%. This was harvested in January of this year tested on February 22nd, 2022. And again, the reason I don't like bags so much, I'm going to get right into it, is that they usually crush the material and it just feels like flat, like we're not going to get very much in here. So let's go ahead and as you see how I do all my videos when I do reviews or when I do judging, whatever, my, the product seal, that's, that's something for me to make sure everybody knows this is legal medicine. This is not something from the black market, no offense to the black market, but this is just a sample and this is supposed to weigh one gram. So let's see, does it weigh one gram? You know, we're doing everything in real time here. As you can see, ain't, ain't no editing cuts here. This is all one shot. If I mess this up in the video, ooh, now this right here, unlike round four, hmm, hmm, let's see what we got here. Look at that, on the money, man. Two nice specimens for us to try out. It definitely smells good. Mm. It's got a little bit of sticky. A little bit of sticky. All right, so got two nice specimens here. And it did weigh the full. And it goes there to get a look at them. Yeah. So I'm eager to smoke this. This smells great. I, I tell you what, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a gelato runs. I mean, we're going to go ahead and just go with this bud here. See how it grinds up. But uh, it seems like it's gonna probably gunk my, gl my grinder up. And uh, this is probably the sticky we were looking for. So, yes, it grinded very well. This grinder has bigger teeth on it, just so you can see the kind of grinder I'm working with. And uh, like I said, we are going to, again, like we did in the previous video, we're going to use the Cheech and Chong get it going on <laughs> so like I said we'll switch over to the 
full screen effect. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready off camera. Per community guidelines, we, we can't get too involved here on the internet because they start getting all worried and upset. But we, we're here talking about the Indica Medical Kit cloud cover dirty dozen sample and like I said if you're new to my channel new to watching my content do me a big favor and mash that like button the subscribe button the follow button whatever it is you're watching because you might be watching this on Facebook you might be watching this on Instagram you could be watching it on YouTube it's it's everywhere I'm everywhere so you know you can support the channel and help the algorithm by just putting your feedback in about what you think Another about these products. Mastermind hit. You know, being a part of the Ohio program, I'm trying to get a comparison going on here. And so far, I mean, I would say it's hit and miss. Um, you know, definitely Michigan market has changed. Um, I do feel like the taking over is being taken over by multi-state operators. I think the same thing is happening in Ohio. A lot of shops are being bought. A lot of private, small, privately owned dispensaries in Ohio are being bought up. And we saw the same thing happen in Michigan. Mm. Initial flavor. Tasty. I taste terps, everyone. Terps. Yeah, we taste the terps here. Okay, now we're waiting on effects. Definitely. I'm feeling some penye. I'm tasting some penye. Or pinye. I get I get chastised for that all the time on here. Penye, pinye, any way I say it. You know what I mean. Terpenes matter. And I definitely get a very defining, uh, I taste a little mercy in here, which is gonna definitely be something you're looking for, and a little bit of linenol. But one thing Michigan doesn't do, is provide us with the terpene profiles. So Michigan cultivators in Ohio, We get terpene profiles on the jar. Y'all give us no terpene profiles. Effects on this, definitely more true to an indica. Again, I don't like the bag, but I think cloud cover, if you had it in a jar, it'd be cool. But I love the graphics. The effect set in pretty quickly. I'm already starting to feel more relaxed. This is definitely gonna be one that I would say is gonna be better for somebody with anxiety. Um, yeah, this feels like a real indica. Yeah, so like I said, we're gonna, and it vaporized very well. I can show you that here. Now, here's something I want to talk to people about because everybody's saying, well, why is he doing all this vape stuff? Well, in Ohio, even though we're in Michigan, um, you know, they don't permit smoking. That doesn't mean I don't smoke. But what I like to do is take my medicine and vaporize it with my PAX-3, and then I re-roll the already vape material and get to use the medicine twice. I should just do a whole video about how I use my medicine two times instead of just one time. So I vape it and then I combust it. Then I waste nothing. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and try another round uh, because that's one thing about using a PAX is it definitely allows you to sample the medicine 
It allows you to get a true flavor without the interference of combustion. Not that I, again, am against combustion. It's just that when I'm looking to taste the flavors, without burning the, the product completely up, that's when I can use this PAX and I can get this about 400 degrees or close to 400 degrees and I can actually really activate some terpenes. But I will admit that sometimes you need to combust the material to activate certain terpenes and a temperature that a PAX or even another desktop vaporizer may not get hot enough. This is why you cannot completely convert over from the uh, smoke, but I can just tell you by having a pack spray, you do get a different experience if you're interested in tasting different flavors and learning what terps really activate for you, what terps really speak to you. But as far as this strain goes, Cloud Cover, you did a good job. Um, you're definitely uh, putting yourself up there by you know meeting the compliance on the one gram sample. Um, I think. Your, your material has a, a good texture and feel. It does have a little stickiness to it. And you provided two nice looking nugs that were very well trimmed. Um, the aroma definitely hit me as soon as I opened the bag. Another mastermind hit. And the appearance was definitely appealing. So I would love to know what you thought about it in the comments in the description in the video. Make sure you check out my website, ohiocannabislive.com. And that's all I've got for this round. I'll see you for round six. Peace.